Today, we're gonna be testing some of the craziest and most cursed block facts in Minecraft that actually work. Shout out to the beautiful Bionic for this video idea. I actually had no idea that Block Facts was a YouTube channel. I mean, look at how many videos they got. Hey, but before I start, I need you guys to click the subscribe button right now. We are currently in a war with the YouTube algorithm. If enough people subscribe to my channel and if you leave a like and comment as well, we will beat this war together. Join me, everybody. Let's beat the YouTube algorithm once and for all. Let's do it. Minecraft's barriers used to look like this. Redstone can pass through barriers. What? Water can go inside barriers in bedrock condition. Beacon beams can go through barriers. Real no symbols have the line going the other way. Withers used to be able to break barrier blocks. Barriers used to make lava particles what? when broken. You can't go above or below border blocks in the education edition. In debug mode worlds, the floor is made of barriers. Invisible bedrock used to surround worlds in pocket edition. This was the first image of a barrier block. Barriers have the highest blast resistance in the game. Subscribe. What? Wait, 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 hold up. You can actually use redstone and barrier blocks and it actually works what give zero nine shark boy barrier okay so so right here we got a barrier block and we got a redstone torch on it if i want to run redstone just like this oh my gosh what that is insane i wish i knew this before bro this literally changes everything that is insanity we got beacons minecraft's beacons were going to look like this with oh the rotating gosh thank god they didn't inside. there are over 12 million combinations of beacon colors although beacons contain obsidian That's they don't a need a diamond pickaxe to be mined the beam of a beacon can go through water and lava. Beacons break at the same what? speed no matter what tool is used. Colored beacons were first no shown in this way. image by Dinnerbone. The top of a beacon's beam looks like this. Beacons can go through bedrock. Beacons can't be pushed by pistons. A beacon's beam used to be solid. Beacon beams can also pass through other beacons. Subscribe. Whoa. Beacons can go through water and lava blocks? Yo, okay, we gotta try this. All right, give me some of that goody good real quick. All right, so we've got our beacon right here. Now, in order to get stationary water and lava blocks, we're gonna have to use barriers. I did not know that they could pass through it. Bro, that, that makes no sense. It also, it also must mean that beacons can also pass through barrier blocks, I assume, which is quite interesting. So we have water. Oh my God, no way. And they can also pass through lava. Bro, what? Okay, that, that's actually really cool. I had no idea. How cool would it be if the water and the lava actually changed the color of the beacon like glass does? This would be like the water beacon. Yo, that actually looks so satisfying. Look at that. And then if we wanted to have a lava beacon right beside it. Oh my gosh, dude, that's so cool. Dude, that is actually so sick. I'm getting some red versus blue vibes here. We got the lava beacon and the water beacon. Okay, that is actually insane. The one and only Minecraft torches. Minecraft torches used to be taller. Underwater torches Wait, are in were the they? education edition. Torches look different in bedrock edition. Torches burnt out in the 2013 April Fool's Oh, Hold up, hold up, hold up. Can we just talk about that TNT for a sec? What is that? I've never seen that in my life. <laughs> Day. Holding a torch looked like this in 2010. Soul torches repel piglins. Breaking torches won't take durability. You can color torches in the education edition. Torches used to move instead of dropping. You couldn't craft torches when they were added. Notch wanted torches to light only a small area. Soul torches don't melt snow. You used to be able to put torches on leaves. Soul torch used to be soul fire torch. Subscribe. Hold up. Apparently, soul torches repel piglins in the nether. We got to see this to believe it. We've got the thickest family of piglins right here. Now, if I go ahead and grab soul torches, apparently the soul torches repel the piglins away from you. I wish I knew this in my speed runs. This would have been so amazing to know. Okay, we're just going to place these all around here. We're going to see if they actually run away from it. Wait, bro. They're actually running away from the soul torches. What? Wait, wait. Okay, hold up. What if I spawn them in the middle? Maybe it's just coincidence. Oh my gosh. What? Yo, that's insanity. Did you guys actually know this? Let me know in the comments. Like, this is... There is no freaking way that we all knew this. If you knew this, I want you to let me know in the comments. There's literally no way. Bro, that is insanity. What? All right, well, next time, just stack up on soul torches. You're good. Minecraft end portals. Minecraft's end portal frame used to look like this. Beacon oh. beams can go through end portal frames. Comparators power redstone if there's an eye. End portal frames emit light. Bedrock has the same blast resistance. Light passes through end portal frames. The texture changed to this in 1.14. Frames used to drop when exploded. Frames used to emit more light. They're just called end portal in bedrock edition. There's a one in a billion chance that all frames will be filled. Most blocks make a different sound even though they don't touch. These look the same but face different directions. You used to spawn with end portal frames. Subscribe. Wait, the That's most the interesting one to me is the note blocks. Is the note blocks on the end portal. They make a noise even though they don't touch. Look at that. There's literally a gap in between the end portal and the note block. Okay, that's that's cursed. We need to see if this is legit or not. Oh, wow, that's cursed. There's literally one floating sand block. Oh my God. Okay, we can do it right here. Boop. <laughs> Okay, so if we place a note block on top, there's a gap. Now, wait, hold up. Do I have to do I have to put an ender eye in there? Wait, let's listen. Okay, it's kind of like a subtle, just like bassy noise. Now, what if I put eye of ender inside of here and then place the note block on top? Okay, now it's kind of touching. Oh, it makes the same noise. That's that's so weird, bro. So they make the exact same noise irregardless. Wow, okay, that's kind of weird. <laughs> 
Enough of these weird facts. I want to try and find the craziest block facts that we can figure out in this video. Minecraft's fire used to look like this when it glitched. Soul oh God. fire isn't as bright as normal fire. Fire smelted almost before furnaces. Story mode had blue fire. Whoa, whoa, hold up. What was that? Fire smelted ores before furnaces. Fire smelting ores before furnaces. If that's legit, I swear. Story mode had blue fire years before soul fire. Fire charges can light a minecart with TNT. Glitched fire looked like this in 2010. You can hold fire and soul fire in bedrock edition. Fire charges used to look like this. Minecraft Dungeons has purple fire. Fire takes half a heart a second. Chainmail armor used to be made with fire. Soul fire deals double the damage. Fire ages over time. Soul fire doesn't go out over time. Subscribe. Okay, we are legitimately going to go to one of the oldest versions of Minecraft we could possibly get to right now. We're going all the way down to release 1.4.4. This has to be old enough to see if this is legit or not. Oh, God, look at this old loading screen, bro. Oh, wait, wait what? Minecraft crashed? What did I do? Oh, here we are, guys. All right, in the bottom left corner, you can see this is the first release version of Minecraft. Okay, we're going to go to creative mode. Let's see if this actually works, bro. I'm, oh my God, bro. Look at this. This is so weird. Okay, so we need to get a diamond ore. Bro, the old creative menu had like no items. Are you serious? So now if I grab some netherrack, place it right here, light it on fire. In theory, if I throw this diamond ore, it should smelt. It should smelt into a diamond. Three, two, one. Huh? Wait. Wait, 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 what? No, it just burnt my diamond ore. Are you telling me I have to go to an older version or something? If this does not work, I don't know what will. We are literally in Minecraft beta 1.0. Look how old this looks. Single player. I, I can't even select creative mode. Will it even let me go in creative mode? Oh my God, what is this? Oh my God, what is this? Something tells me we literally just got rickrolled. I... What's going on, Block Facts? Why would you why would you do this to us? Come on now. We've got end rods. Minecraft's end rods used to have a purple base. End rods are as bright as torches. Oh, Sand that's right. They did the have a purple base. End rods used to have a smaller hitbox. You could walk up end rods when they were added. There were unused parts of their texture. End rods are held differently in bedrock edition. Water breaks end rods in Java edition. An end rod can be worn using commands. End ships have six end rods. End rods never spawn facing down. Torches can't go on end rods in bedrock edition. Pistons push end rods. End rods break instantly. The particles are faster in bedrock edition. End Snow. Subscribe. There is so much information passing through my very tiny brain. I couldn't be the only one that recognized that Enrods did change the color of the base. They used to be purple. I remember that. First thing I did notice is pistons can push Enrods. Oh my gosh, they can. Okay, that, that's weird. They're literally not even connected. How does that how does it even work? Now, the fact that I thought was even more interesting is if an end rod is sideways like this, it'll break the block. But if it's standing up like this, it won't. Let's test this out. Okay, here we go. Three, two, one. Oh my gosh, what? Yo, that is so weird. Why Why is it like that? I would have just kind of expected it to break either way. That's that's very random. Apparently, end rods actually melt snow, which is kind of interesting. Okay, so if I just place one like right here. Oh, that wow, that's cursed. That's very cursed. Oh, there goes one snow block. Okay, what? Uh, let's place a bunch. I don't want to see any of the snow here. I don't know why exactly they wouldn't melt snow, but but apparently they do. Huh. It doesn't really seem like much is happening right now. Um, I'm I'm a little I'm a little a little confused. <laughs> uh hello? Is there any snow gonna be melting? Oh, oh it worked! Look, look, look! I don't know what purpose you would need to use N rods to melt snow for, but yeah, I guess it works. And to confirm the block fact, yes, end rods are broken in one single hit. Wow, that is actually very cool. Now we got the one and only Minecraft fences. Minecraft's fences used to look like this. Fences used to be crafted huh. with just sticks. That's only true, I remember that. and warped fences can't be found naturally. Wooden fences can smelt items, but nether brick ones can't. When fences what? were added, you spawned with a stack. Arrows float on top of fences. Mobs can't jump onto a fence with carpet on top. Fences used to have a larger hitbox. Fences used to need a solid block under them. Arrows can knock you over a fence. Nether brick fences aren't flammable. Oak Fences were added four years before any other time. Nether brick fences make a different sound under a note block. Subscribe. What? Yo! The amount of cool stuff between Nether brick fences aren't flammable. Oak fences were added four years before any other time. Nether brick fences make a different sound under a note block. Subscribe. We got our nether brick fence and we also got a regular fence. So you can't use the nether fences in a furnace to smelt anything, which is actually really interesting. So if we put nether, so if I put iron right in here and I try and put nether fences inside, it literally, look, I'm clicking. It, it won't let me. But if I put jungle fences in here with iron, it does work. Wow, but that's so that's so weird. Also, one thing I noticed, listen to the listen to the placement sounds. It sounds so heavy. Whereas this one just sounds like regular wood. Okay, that's cool. Apparently the nether brick fences aren't flammable, whereas the other ones all are. There we go. Light them on fire. And I, I literally can't light this one on fire. What? What the? 
I, I, I'm so confused. Aren't they literally fences too? They're just different colors? Minecraft's armor stands used to look like this. The item used to look like this. Frostwalker, I remember that. Armor stand. They have as much health as players. Zoglins attack armor stand. This was the first image of armor stand. Wait. Health as players. Zoglins attack armor stand. Zoglins? So the Zoglins attack armor stands. I never knew that. This was the first image of armor stand. Potions work on them in bedrock edition. They stack to 64 in bedrock edition. Small armor stands can be spawned with commands. Armor stands used to look like this when holding raw chicken. Armor stands can only be found naturally in Java edition. There are 13 poses in bedrock edition. Cacti don't damage armor stands. Redstone switches poses. They can be placed with dispensers. Subscribe. Wow. Okay, that's cool. I did not know that. I did not know the nether fact. Let's try it out. Okay, so we got all of our Zoglins here, and if I just started spamming armor stands everywhere, they attack it for some reason? Oh my god, what? Wait, why do they even do that? That doesn't even make any sense. It's not even a real player. Look at them. They're literally terrorizing this poor armor stand. What did the armor stand do to you? Oh my god, this is way too cursed, bro. What even is going on in my Minecraft world now? This is enough cursedness for me, okay? <laughs> Click on the end cards that are right here. They're specifically picked for what you enjoy watching. So I'll, I'll bet my entire life savings that you'll love those videos. Anyways, I'll catch you in those ones. Peace out.